Welcome back everybody to the Outer Worlds. Last time we, uh, <clears throat> Captain Alex Hawthorne, uh, retook control of his ship. And, and nothing else. That's what happened. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Well, about that. <laughs> you got it all wrong. I'm, uh... I'm a safety inspector for, uh, for starships. I'm making sure it's up to code. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no <laughs> idea we had an inspector coming. <laughs> if you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, <laughs> over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. You do that. Stay out of my ship. I mean... Hmm. What is over here? I... I don't think I want anything to do with that yet. I'm just gonna go check out the, uh, the settlement. Those things look bigger than this pea shooter could handle. Marauders, you are marauders. But what, those, those behemoths? Oh yeah, I took one look at them and I said, no, I don't have the fucking, I don't have the stuff for this. <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Oh, I actually died. I had a feeling that would get me killed, but I had to try. Now the question becomes, does it auto save? It doesn't, okay. So I'll have to remember to save before I do stuff like that. Say, this wouldn't happen to be, and if this ship is yours, no, I'm an inspector. Edgewater. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yep, I'm out. All right, yeah, I figured it would be. Oh, that's not auto save. That's quick save. Um, I'll go to the settlement first. No matter which way you go. Huh? You saw nothing. No, I don't think that did it. Didn't fuck my other shit up, did it? Wait, why would no F five wouldn't be quick save? I'm playing on console.
that takes care of them. Hey, they had another knife. Ow! Oh god! I pick. I thought I heard something moving. Yeah, I figured there wouldn't be. me key key step 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 you gotta I thought they'd be dumb enough to come closer. Oh, it does auto save. Where'd that auto save save? I bet that's the one back on the ship. No? Before I cleared these guys? It was. Alright. I'm definitely going to be taking the uh, increased health as my next perk. Oh, my nose is just ridiculous. Annoying. Let's see if I can plug this bastard from a distance. I don't like that. shoot right over his shoulder. There we go. 
Just had to handle the combat a little smarter. Main items. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Got him so bad I made him pieces. I'm with it. Oh, I got a pristine pistol. Jesus, I got four pistols, three knives, and a staff. All right. Edition 180.5? Or 80.5. Okay, there's a symbol there that I thought was a one. I was like, how's it going to be over 100%? It looks fucking beautiful. Even for a console version. Out in those hills. That's Are you smarter than the other people? I'm just passing through. It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Nice to meet you, my Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name no, I really Silas. don't. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Place looks like shit. Uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here. I don't belong here. Well, we do belong here. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. As long as we provide our own cradles. Yeah, uh, power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? It depends on who's asking. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Mm hmm. And you can't collect the fees yourself because... Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. That's fair. Alright, sure. Yeah. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Hey, where are they? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. All right. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Have you heard of the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Eh, yeah, let's change the subject. Something I don't need to go any deeper you. into that. I'm out. Beats working at the huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. There you weren't. Hmm. Thing outside these walls. Doesn't look like. All right, now let's head into town. So there's something up these stairs. Stop doing that. I'm taking your stuff. Okay. Eink. Eink. Boss ball card. Eink. Bypass shunt? Eh, you never know when those will come in handy. Bit cartridges. Shitter if I've ever seen one. A shovel? Shovel. I'll leave him a shovel. Taking his beer though. Nope. This is that guy's office. Hmm. Welcome, Junior and Humor. This from the Inhumors Association. Dear reader, your subscription to the Inhumors Association newsletter has inspired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now, we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovel's Gazette and Quarterly. Resources. Edgewater Cemetery is a property of the Spacer's Choice Company. Spacer's Choice family takes care of its own from the cradle to the grave. Graveside plots and headstones are provided by Spacer's Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable spacious plots, custom engraved headstones and monograms, complimentary eulogy, courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Spacer's Choice brand gravesite. Root. There was only the two messages. Uh, inventory logs? Burial invoice. Password required. Bypass. Names Theodore Granger. Cause of expiration, industrial accident, successfully interred in gravesite 13F, paid and accounted fees, humor's, humor's addendum, Teddy's corpse was missing a hand, deducted five bits from the gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. That makes sense. Taking your pills. I'll we'll leave this man his shovels. He needs those to do his job. Take those armor parts, though. I need those to do my job. 
Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. And for early retirement processes by lottery, winners enjoy an all-expense-paid trip to their new life in Byzantium, the Jewel of Halcyon. That sounds fishy. Just more grave. Why are there ages over the grave? This graveyard is weird. In parts. Looks like it's just a way around to the other side of the city. Just an Edgewater, yep. Sure is. Come on now, Edgewater. You can do it. Buying and selling from a vendor, your best dialogue skill is automatically used. Oh, cool. Stop taking out your gun every time you go somewhere. Rude. Not trying to be that kind of person yet. Be a duplicitous shit. Not trying to kill everybody. Hey, you hear about Wilson? No. Marauders got in. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. That Ran bastard. Off in the of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Is that a Transformers reference? Die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of this all to me. You moron. Stop my some sort of freelancer? Yep. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. You some sort of freelancer? Yeah, the fact that talk to people and draw a weapon is the same button is kind of annoying. Going through your shit. Mag pick that. Go ahead and close that. Fucking okay, apple juice. More money. More money. Purple, purple berry fizzy tea. Holy shit! Give me that. shunt weapon parts this is the saltuna cannery maintenance division personal terminal robert holcomb enter a keyword for record search or hold down control alt f7 enter to compose a new entry let's open the last search search Indu indumadi 
Being two records found. Kamadi left Edgewater today. She's being reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I'll look up and think of you. Note from Kamadi. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love, perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Umadi. Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. One record. Last entry. Sat up last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been 10 years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. Guessing one of these is the unused office. Meanwhile, I'm just going through all these places like, la la la, I'm gonna take your shit. I won't leave the doors open. Energy cell and light ammo, nice. This, this is a chitter. This, no, here's that. Another terminal. Maintenance division logs. Holcomb P. Three open trouble tickets. AG loader serial. Blah blah blah. Failure on startup. Open priority me. Turn on engine. Try it again. Try it again. Kick the loader. Curse injured toes. I have to enter a minimum of eight steps. Try it again. It makes a rattling noise. <laughs> Dang it, Clancy. I just got you back on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you got feet, but you know what I mean. Sounds like his stator's off access, access again. We'll clean out and reset. Lancey's guts got caught and all pulled out, likely on account of somebody trying to restart him over and over again. Need to rewind all the coiling in number four. Hey, okay, stator's working, but there's something else off. Have to wait until it's quiet and spin him up for a listen. Did I write this? Well, percussive maintenance, man. It's, it's the way forward. Summary, failure of main cannery production line at heat processing. Open status, executive priority. Start a production line according to schedule S46701A. Serve processing of cans, follow first batch to heat processing. One or more loud popping noises. Smoke and smell of burnt salt tuna. Overheat klaxon on monitor six. Flames jet from exhaust ports, automatic shutdown. Likely as not, best got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again. Heading over now. Uh, triple ticket 65588. Issue has been open for zero days. Read damned mechanicals. Open status, low priority. Priority automatically reset to low by executive level admin role applied by Thompson R. Trouble ticket filled by filed by Miller. Steps to reproduce. Look northwise. I said look northwise, blasted useless translator. Near scrap pile. Could be northeast from town, I guess. Serve mechanical. Clanking about all menacing like. See it? It's right there. No notes on this ticket yet. I guess northeast from town, there's something weird. That's just a workbench. Anything with that really yet. Another mag pick. That clears out that building. Where did...
I've only gone and got lost already. Alright, that and to the left is where I came into town. That's the cannery. Not go to the cannery just yet. Hey, let's go report that useless what the constable. Because you know she interfered with a with a starship inspector's job. At Saltuna for a year. We should keep our voices down. Take a look at some bounties. How many gill and trim? Chaser's Choice Department of Retirement Termination and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Guillaume Gil Antrim effective immediately. You may remember Gil from his days in the cannery. Please be advised that Spacer's Choice no longer recognizes Mr. Antrim as a member of his valued family. Spacer's Choice advises its workers in good standing to remain in good standing by disabusing themselves of any sympathy, allegiance, or memory toward Mr. Antrim. Generous bounty payment on delivery and must be able to sign your own name. Former Spacer's Choice physician abandoned duties and disappeared from Edgewater at large and is dangerous. Doc Mabel is wanted for three counts of larceny, two for each parcel of stolen Andrina time, and one for depriving the outpost of its official, phys of its official physician. Generous bounty, yada, yada, yada. Birdie Cotton. Former vicar acting on behalf of the Order of Scientific Inquiry, stationed to the Edgewater Vicarage, suffered psychological breakdown upon showing symptoms of plague at large and dangerous. Hmm. The offer of scientific inquiry has declined a response. Vicar Cotton's sermons are considered defunct and obsolete. Spacer's Choice advises purging them from your memory with the help of Zero G. Zero G brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. That's a marketing slogan right there. I like it. Generous bounty, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, I didn't look at the clothes bounties. Never mind. Don't mind me, Constable. I'm just looking through your shit. Hmm. Want that mag pack? Not on the table next. Oh, no. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hey, you know, I'll take care of some marauders. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Hmm. I'll see if they are marauders. Within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Of course. Who do you work for? Spacer's Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Okay, so who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. So you're basically a bureaucrat. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Hmm. There's one of the Something things. to report? No. I'm not going to tell her about Phineas. That'll just be too many awkward questions. Just the way it goes, I suppose. This must be the other entrance to town, yeah. 
That's the cantina. This is the barber shop. This is where one of those people was. You the person I'm looking for? Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Okay. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I already don't like you. I mean, I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. I've been sent to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Some quality drama. You should audition. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. I don't have time for this. Hold on, let me go talk to Silas real quick. If he's got the plague, and he's not going to be able to get treatment, I might be able to, you know, make it a state-sponsored uh, relieving of his debt. Put the gun away. Fancy Silas, we need to talk. Some kind of hibernation suit? Don't worry about what I'm wearing. You run into any trouble? Yeah. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Are you suggesting extortion? Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. I'll take a look. That's more fun than killing him. I mean, that's exactly what I mean. It's more fun. Next time, we're going to look for dirt on the barber and see if we can have some fun with his life in my chaotic, neutral way. I'll see you then.